Hey guys, welcome to Ben Wrenching. My name's Ben, and today I am wrenching on my 2004 Honda Accord. Today I'm going to be doing an oil change. So here is everything that we need to do it. I'll link all this in the description. I got a pair of gloves, a magnetic drain plug removal tool, some oil filter pliers, 17 millimeter socket, a new crush washer for the drain plug. I'll link that in the description too. I've got a new filter some 5w20 oil i use high mileage full synthetic my honda's got 340,000 miles on it and i've got a drain pan a funnel and an old rag i'm gonna use a jack and jack stands to lift it up this car is pretty low to the ground so i'm gonna need some room to get in there so that's everything we need to do this first thing i'm gonna do is start the car and get it up to operating temperature so let's get into it all right so i'm just gonna start the car and let it get up to operating temperature and while it's warming up, I can go ahead and jack it up. I put wheel chocks under the tires on both sides. Already put them under that tire. You also want to engage the parking brake and we are up to operating temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Go ahead and pop the hood down here by the gas pedal and the brake pedal. Just pull that. the oil fill cap off so that when we drain the oil it'll drain better so I use this frame rail as a jacking point and then place my jack stand under that frame rail Same thing over here. Use this frame rail as your jacking point. Put your jack stand under it. When you've got both jack stands set, then go ahead and put the jack and just give it a little bit of pressure up here just for added safety. All right, with the car jacked up safely, back wheels chalked, we also have the fill cap removed. We can go ahead and remove the drain bolt and drain the oil out. So I'm gonna need my catch pan, this rag, and my 17 millimeter socket. I'll also need the drain plug removal tool. So I'm gonna leave the rest of this from out from under the car. So I'll need it later. And slide your cardboard underneath. Underneath the front of the car, right there is the oil pan. I've written 17 on here so that I know it's a 17 millimeter drain bolt. It's on the other side right there. So there's the drain bolt. We'll go ahead and remove that with the 17 millimeter socket and drain the oil into the catch pan. Loosen the drain bolt. Use the magnetic drain bolt removal tool to twist it off the rest of the way. Make sure your catch pan's in a good spot. And let the oil drain. While the oil is draining, we can get the oil filter loose oil filter is located right there so I can reach it up here from the top of the engine you can also reach it from the bottom I'm going to remove the old crush washer and put on a new one and I'll thread this back in so that stops dripping there we go clean this up a little bit And we can go ahead and tighten our drain bolt down a little bit. So with that done draining and the drain bolt back on, I can move my catch pan and get better access to the oil filter. Here's a better look at the oil filter with uh, the drain plug in view. So it's just right up here. Like I said, you can reach it from the top, try to get your pliers on it and turn it. There's not a lot of room to work with up there. so. Maybe easier to just grab it from down here. You should be able to turn this by hand and take it off. Mine's on there pretty tight. So I'm going to need to get the pliers. So just grab the pliers on there and turn your filter until you get it loose enough that you can turn it by hand. You want to be careful because oil will start leaking out. So you want to have your catch pan ready. When it leaks out, it'll leak all over the frame right there. And... So you really want to position your catch pan really well so you don't spill any oil on the floor. So I'll loosen this up the rest of the way. 
until oil starts dripping out and then we'll see where it's dripping at and reposition our catch pan. That looks good. I like to let as much drain out with a controlled drip as I can because once you start opening it up more it'll start dripping everywhere. So I'll let that drain for a minute. All right, now that it's done draining, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen the oil filter all the way and take it off. So I push towards the engine with it as I'm unthreading it. And hopefully you won't spill a bunch of oil when this comes unthreaded. So there we go, got it out. So just pour your oil into your catch pan and we can set the filter aside. So I've got my new filter, I'll get it installed. I use Wix filters. I normally use Wix XP because I use full synthetic oil, but the Wix XP filter was gonna take too long to ship. So I got the regular Wix filter for the 2004 Honda Accord. It's Wix 57356. Like I said, normally I get 57356 XP. So normally you want to pre-fill these filters. This one goes in sideways and it's pretty awkward to get it up in there. So I actually don't pre-fill these, but I do want to make sure that I put some oil around this O-ring. So normally what I do is just take the old filter and rub the O-ring on the old filter to get it lubed up. And that'll get you some oil on there. You can smooth it out. And you're good to go. So I like to back this off until the threads catch and then go ahead and thread it on. You don't want to cross thread these, so you just want to make sure that it's turning smoothly. Just tighten it by hand. Don't make it extra tight or you'll run into the problem that I did where I couldn't get it off by hand. That's probably good. Doesn't need to be super tight. So we've got the new filter on. We've got the drain plug uh, put back in. I'm going to torque this down to 31 foot-pounds. That is what I read online for this uh, drain plug and I'm gonna use a torque wrench for that. There we go. All right, so now we are ready to fill it with new oil. Got our drain plug tightened down and torqued to spec. We've got our new filter on and it is hand tight. Last thing I like to do down here is just clean up any oil. I've got a pretty bad oil leak, so I've got oil everywhere. So I'm gonna clean all that up and up here by the oil filter as well. All right, there we go. We're ready to fill it with new oil. You can also hit it with some brake cleaner to clean up all that oil mess. All right, so now we just need our funnel, funnel in the fill hole. And now we're ready to put the new oil in. So I put it in about half the bottle and then I like to get down and make sure that I don't have any oil leaking. It's possible that you didn't tighten your drain plug or get your oil filter on tight. So before you go pour in the whole jug in there, you wanna make sure that uh, you don't have anything leaking down there. So I will go ahead and fill it the rest of the way. I always use all of the jug, but I leave one quart of oil, so I'll use four quarts. And then start the car and let it run for a while and check the level again. All right, so four quarts in there. We can go ahead and take out the funnel. And put the cap back. And now we're ready to start the car, let it run for about 30 seconds and make sure that we let the oil circulate and then we'll check the level. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it off the jack since I'm done underneath. and make sure to remember to remove your wheel chocks. So with the new oil in and the cap back on, we can go ahead and start it for about 30 seconds. Go ahead and disengage the parking brake. And we'll just let the oil circulate for a little bit. So while it's running, we can go ahead and double check and make sure we don't have any oil leaking. 
And that looks good. And we'll go ahead and shut the car off and check the oil level. So after you've run it for a little bit, you want to let it sit so that the oil settles and you get an accurate reading on your dipstick. So while we're waiting, I always like to put the old filter into the box for the new one. You can recycle these at auto parts stores. They'll take those and recycle them. And we'll pour our old oil into an empty jug. I keep empty jugs on hand and I write an X on the top of it with one of these white china markers. I will link this in the description as well. This is what I use to write the 17 on the oil pan underneath. So these are great for a lot of different automotive uses. And just pour your old oil into an empty jug. And this will also tell you how much oil you took out. So I took out a little over four quarts. So I'll let that keep draining and I can go ahead and check the level on the dipstick. This is the dipstick right here. You just pull it out and clean it off. Just using a paper towel and it's got two holes on the end of it. This top hole here is right where we want the oil level. That is full. That is one quart low. So we'll put it back in, push it down all the way and make sure it's flush so that you get an accurate reading. Pull it back out. And our level looks pretty good, but it's right in between the middle of the two dots. So I need to add about half a quart. So I will add a half a quart. All right, and that should be good. So we'll wipe off this fill cap and the dipstick. Last thing I like to do is record the mileage so that I know when the next time will be that I need an oil change. I keep it on a chart in uh, some notes in my phone, so I will show a picture of that. So I just record the mileage and the date that I change the oil. All right, so with that, we are finished with the oil change on the Honda. I will link the parts in the description that I used. And please subscribe if you like this content and stay tuned for more on my 2004 Honda Accord. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video.